was like stressing myself out and I was to the point where like I don't think college is meant for me I want to drop out like situationships y'all let me tell y'all do you get to college don't don't do it like no It was Tasia Gang, so today I am back with another video. It's been a minute, y'all. I'm, I'm sorry. I did it again. I know y'all probably like, where she been at? It's been like two months since my last video, but this is basically going to be like a college update. Um, an update on my life, like where I've been, what I've been doing, this, this, and that. Because I just feel like I don't want to pop out with a video and I just keep going in action on y'all. So I just feel like I should just update y'all. And let y'all know what's basically going on because it's been a lot going on. It's been a lot going on. And first off, I'm going to start by saying I'm sorry, y'all. I am so sorry because I know everybody, like, even my friends be telling me, you need to make videos, you need to you need to get back consistent, you need this and this and that. It's been a lot, though, y'all. So first off, I'm going to just basically go into, like, how my semester's been going with college and... You know, then I'm going to get into, like, why I haven't, it was really going to coordinate with each other, like, why I haven't been doing videos and how my semester been going. So, basically, y'all, um, my semester has not been bad, but it, it hasn't been great either, y'all. Because, okay, first off, started semester off, you know, I was here over the summer at UNC Charlotte for, um, I was here over the summer for the summer program called Utah. Basically, like, a program that's for... Over the summer, it's a six-week program. You take classes, you learn the campus, you do activities, all this stuff over six weeks. You get to do like an early move-in type thing. So you get to move in before everybody else moves in, basically. But yeah, so I did that. And you know, that was actually good. You know, um, I met a lot of people. I got used to the campus, you know. Like, I really did enjoy it. Like, the first week was eh. But like, after that, it was really cool. Like, I really did meet some cool folks. And... Like, really got the inside of everything on campus, if that makes sense, like, you know. But the first semester started, you know, first couple day classes went good, this, this, and that. Um, though, I will say, that program did help me. You know, I started off with a 4.0 GPA, and I, ooh. <laughs> but anyway, back to that. So, basically, semester started off good, though, like, classes was, uh, my calc class was ugh, like it was just it was mainly like the professors like the professors they have in college these days are just sometimes not it at all but yeah semester wasn't that bad um mid semester i was like stressing myself out and i was to the point where like i don't think college is meant for me i want to drop out like sorry y'all if i see my bra straps it's just gonna have to show in the video for right now because they just not they just not trying to like cooperate um but yeah, basically, like, in the middle of semester, I was just to the point where, like, college is not for me. Like, I don't know if I could do this because y'all graduated for pro high school, had straight A's, all this. Then I get in college, and it's just, like, this transition is crazy. Like, like nobody tells you this stuff. Nobody tells you it's going to be hard. Everybody's just like, oh, what college are you going to? Oh, what you majoring in? Oh, this, is and that. Everybody just want to ask that when you go to college. But they don't want to get into the real deal, like... College is serious, y'all. It's not just about partying. It's serious. Like, I'm trying to tell y'all, like, I really was down bad. Like, I ain't gonna say down bad. Like, my grades never got below a B. But it's still, like, y'all, I'm literally, like, in a semester off with my grades right now. It's two A's and three B's. Like, when I tell y'all, I was... And y'all may look at me like, oh, my God, she's just over B. Oh, my God, this, this, and that. But coming from a person that's straight A's, like... You know, been on top of her work. And I ain't gonna say I slapped off when I got to college. Because I didn't. I didn't at all. Like, it's just the work is harder. Like, transitioning from high school to college is what people don't tell you about. And that junk is real. Like, it's a real deal story. Because I'm trying to tell you, like, okay, you in high school. You know, you could quickly bring your grades up to a real quick. See to a, a real quick. And college is like, no. Like, your professor's... Some professors don't put in work to the last minute. They take forever to grade your work. And then this is like, some will give you extra credit points. Some will, some won't. Like, if your grade is 89, your grade going to stay at 89. It's not going to go up. It's going to be the B in college. It's not no 89, no B plus, no B minus. I mean, it's sometimes they'll count like that. But in the grade book on your thing, it's going to say B. 
or it's gonna say your grade. It's not gonna sit here and consider something a B minus or B plus. A B is a B. So yeah, that's just it just got stressed to the point it's like, bro, I this not for me, like this is the net. And this is not even about partying. Because party, yeah, party's lit. This is net. But I don't want to get tired because you see the same folks. You just do the same music. Like, same thing over. But sometimes people just do that just to, like, take a break from college work. The whole stressful thing about college. But college can be stressful, y'all. I'm trying to tell you it's stressful. So when you come to college, be prepared. Like, be on top of your work. Don't slack up. Like, stay focused. You can go to parties, but make sure you do your work first. Because I was to the point where I went to parties. I made sure I did all my work that was due ahead of time. And, yeah, like I said as well, like, like this is, like, freshman advice. Because, uh, of course, I don't know everything. I'm not a senior. I'm not a junior. I'm not a sophomore. I'm a freshman. First semester freshman in that. But this first semester taught me a lot of stuff. Woo! Child. You know... If, a, if an assignment do like Wednesday and then Sunday you don't got nothing to do, look at it at least. The least you can do is look at it. If you feel like you want to just go ahead and get out of the way, do it. Because then when that day come and it's due and you know, y'all in class, y'all got to talk about it. Then y'all got to talk about it. You can make changes to it because you already started on it. Don't procrastinate. Don't wait till the last minute. Don't do none of that. Because I tell you, that don't want to haunt you any bad. I just feel like if you get the work done, you won't have to stress about it. You have less stress. But I just feel like some people on the other hand work better under stress. But me... No, I'm talking about as soon as they post an assignment, I'm like, okay, what is this? Like, let me look at it. Like, you know, go ahead and start on it because this is like I feel stressed if I don't get out of the way. If you know what I'm coming from, I don't know. Yeah, y'all, y'all just, you just gotta stay on top of it, stay on top of your work. Don't slack up. Yeah, because them parties, y'all, them parties gonna sound real good to your ear. And then time comes, it's gonna be like, Lord. And then exams, okay, yeah, so then I had exams last week. And with my calc class, it was so hard because this is like my professor speak a whole other language. She had a strong accent. She can't teach, but she's a nice person. But she cannot teach at all. And y'all, like, I'm talking about the whole semester. Basically, I was using Mathway photo math. Okay? No problem. Homework assignment is done. 100 distance net. That haunted me in the end because the exam come. And it, every, you know, the exams cover everything for the semester. I'm like, yo. Like, I only remember certain topics and not even half the topics that we did in the class so basically this whole week last week i had to study every like literally go back from the first lesson that we had in that math class and go over everything like it was it was it wasn't bad but i just feel like i shouldn't even did that i shouldn't put myself in the bottom so if you don't understand that just go talk to your professors you know go to the office hours y'all per office hours really do justice because it's just like you can be in the class with 100 some folks and your professor not gonna know you. Your professor, all he there is to teach y'all. And so when he get there, he just gonna teach. He don't care who in class. Basically, like if it's a hundred plus people in that class, he not gonna care exactly exactly each person that come to class today. He's not gonna do that. It's up to you to come to class. It's up to you to do your work. Y'all don't suck up either with coming to, with not going to class because a lot of people feel like, you know, with doing that assignments they don't gotta come to class. Y'all do your, go to class. Go to class, be good. So that's basically where I've been with college. Like that's why I really have made been able to make no videos. I've been more of going to, like literally going to class to the gym, eating, and that's it. Like I was on this dance major rec team and you know, I was on that team and I really liked it. Like I really I wish I was able to vlog with them while I had the chance. But I ended up like deciding that I didn't want to do it anymore. Just to like focus on like school more. And you know, it's my first year. Like I want to still experience everything that a first year student would like to experience. Like basketball games. This is basketball season. I love basketball. So I would love to go to basketball games and stuff. So I'm just like, you know, I want to be able to experience this stuff. But at the same time, we're having practices not like literally like three, four times out of the week. And it's like from at night, y'all. It's at night. And it's different locations every night. And I don't have my car on campus, so that I can just drive. I have to take the bus all this by myself. It's just a lot. And for a girl to be on campus by herself, y'all, it's it's dangerous. So I mean, it wasn't bad though. I actually like the team, but it just wasn't meant for me. So like I did that in situationships, y'all. Let me tell y'all. Do you get to college? Don't. <laughs> don't do it like it's don't do it y'all don't do it i mean okay let me not let me not just haunt y'all like that okay let me just talk about the positives of college college yes it's it's a big transition between school work but it is 
positives to it. Like, if you go to a university, you're all, you're going to be bound to meet new people anyway. I feel like if you come to college, get out of your shell, bro. Just talk to people. Because people are not mean. People are not, well, not all people. But majority of the people that you see that look mean, they're not mean, y'all. Just, even if y'all don't talk on a daily, having friends, you know, just being nice to each other goes a long way. And I just feel like, for me, on the other hand, like, get out of my shell. Because when I first came, when I first did Utah over the summer, y'all, like, I didn't know nobody there. Nobody. Like, all my friends were still here. My friends go with me. My two close friends go with me to college in USC Charlotte. But they weren't there at the time. So, I'm there by myself. Don't know. Nobody, nobody here. Like, I knew my roommate. I knew my roommate. Um, I didn't know, personally know her. But we texted a little bit beforehand. But, like, the first day came, I was like, dang, my parents gone. My parents go over here by myself. Then we had a meeting that night with Utah, you know. Everybody was there. I was literally in the corner on my phone like this. We had a little party thing. Everybody in a circle, like, you know, talking and stuff. And when I say I'm a social person, I talk and I, like, have, like, have fun, communicate with people. This is me on my phone. Literally on my phone. Like, I was not even entertaining nobody in that party. Then people just started coming up to me. Everybody was just cool, like, it was just cool. So just getting out of your shell, talking to people really does go a long way. But... Don't trust everybody with your information. Don't tell everybody your business. That's all I gotta say. Because not everybody your friend at all. Is this clear? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna tell you I got my braces off. Y'all probably already know this, but I got my braces off like two or three weeks ago. But yeah, oh, next story. So that's basically how college been. College has been mid, you know, it was more on the stressful end towards the mid in the semester because of, you know, exams coming up, you know, in the final final uh, grades due to Cincinnati. Um, final grades not even in game. Grades end weird because, like, it's weird. It's a lot of stuff. But, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a lot of stuff that I'm in right now. And I just feel like that whole transition between high school and college really did it for me because it's like I'm in so much stuff. I'm in, I'm, I'm on a full ride. No, I'm in BHP business business honors program. We really have weekly meetings, and then we have to do like community service events and social events each semester. So it's a lot of stuff that's more on the college end. That's why I haven't been doing videos. Back on the positive note, um, positive note, how I've been mentally. Y'all, I've got to journal a lot. Like, you know, I went through this big. That's why I said, don't talk to people while you're in college, y'all. It's not worth the time, nor effort at all. Look at my forehead shining. But it's not worth the time, nor effort. So I went through this, like, kind of, like, big, like, change in my life in October. And so I basically stopped talking to somebody, and, um, like, it was big. Like, it was, like, it, for me, it was big. For that person, it was probably not so big, but it was big for me. So it was just, like, transitioning to, like, love myself more. And focus on me and focus on the positive stuff rather than, you know, the fact of having to have someone around you. That, that's, that was more of what I had to focus on. And that was like a hard transition as well. Like, that that couple of weeks was really like, really like, I had to find myself over again because I feel like I lost myself. Like, really, really like, basically, anyway. <laughs> Took a lot a lot but i got into journaling you know i started praying more pray like y'all pray pray you need to pray praying is essential praying is important manifesting the things you want in life is important look at me <laughs> manifesting the things you want in life is important as well but yeah basically i started journaling and you should you can just look up what journaling is like writing down what i want to happen you know thank you all for everything just journaling journaling does help a lot y'all if y'all if y'all type of person that don't speak about y'all emotions and like stuff like that. I think y'all should definitely journal. Most definitely. Like, I ain't gonna say I've been down to press because that's one thing. I, that's no, never. But I definitely was going through a hard time at one point in time. But I'm better now. Yeah. I'm gonna make another video for y'all too soon. Try to get more consistent. Like, really this time because it's going into a new year and Like, I'm really so close to a thousand subscribers, y'all. I'm so close to like making money on youtube like all i need is to just be consistent and post 
and just post. Like at this point, I don't even care if I get a lot of views. It's just about posting and being consistent because I love this TikTok and this girl, like how she started with Lily No View, she just got consistent with it and like she really blew up. Like it, you gotta start from somewhere. Like Lily and some of my videos blew up. Like my college videos when I first got here got a couple thousand views. But my prom videos is really what did it. Like my prom videos got like the most views on my channel right now. But yeah, um that's like a this like a life update video. Right now, not really like talking to nobody. Um just focusing on me. Yeah. A lot of people say they're focusing on them, but are they really focusing on them? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. Um I'm about to literally go like I don't know if I want to record my show, cause y'all, basically what happened was I recorded my sheen haul and then I go back and look at the videos and everything is blurry. So I really have to go record that whole video over. <sighs> but I'm gonna try to like basically put this one up first then do the sheen haul because it's like, if I put the sheen haul up, what was the point of doing this one? So like, I'm gonna try to just like edit this one tonight and have this up by like the end of the week or tomorrow sometime or something like that. Um. Yeah, because y'all just need to know how I've been because, like, I feel like with YouTube, you know, I mean, even though probably most of y'all on my social media anyway, but, yeah. I ain't gonna say college been a disaster neither, y'all. College has been fun and I don't know why, but like, on the academic-wise, you know, just, you just gotta stay focused. You just gotta put the work in for real. I mean, I put the work in, but <sighs> with college, it's just an experience. My experience could be different from your experience when you come. I'm just giving you my tips and how to, how you can just... Proceed with tips I'm giving you because, yeah, shoot, I don't know what else, how else to go about that. But yeah, y'all, this is the end of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I mean, it was just basically me talking. If you want to hear me talk, then. But yeah, this is the end of the video, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, my next video is going to be a sheen haul. So y'all stay tuned for that. And I'm going to try to get consistent with y'all for real. For I'm not going to suck up this time. Y'all just make sure y'all actually comment video ideas. If you don't, just text me. Text my Instagram. But I'll text y'all back. Maybe. But for sure, I'm gonna get back more. I'm gonna get consistent, y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next video.